finally, it looks like always on display is coming to the iPhone 14 Pro models this year. Always on display will show notifications on our iPhone 14 Pro screens without actually turning on the main display. I want to go over how this is going to work and also give you guys the latest on the iPhone 14 Pro Max release date and price with specs as well. So it's a matter of weeks to WWDC 2022 and everybody is looking forward to some great new software features for iPhones and other Apple devices. WWDC 2022 will be Apple's second 2022 event as the last one we had was Apple's peak performance event and that happened in March time and the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro got some additional gorgeous green colours introduced. After WWDC the next Apple event is going to be the Apple iPhone event and I'll talk about when this is happening a little bit later on in the video. However as we're getting closer to the release date now I'm splitting the report and leaks for the iPhone 14 and the new iPhone 14 Max into one video and having the details about the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max into another. Today I'm going to focus on the details for the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max but keep an eye out on my channel for details about the other iPhone 14 models as I'll be making a video for these soon. So let's talk about the potential of always on display or AOD for the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So we've had a few reports like from Mark Gurman that originally thought that the iPhone 13 Pro models were going to get this feature as seen here. The main reason why it was believed that an always on display was thought to be coming to the iPhone 13 Pro models was because of the brand new ProMotion display that came to the iPhone last year. With always on displays it uses an OLED panel what the iPhone has right now and only the pixels for a notification icon will be turned on and this is what only needs to be shown and with this basically it only draws only a slight bit of power from your battery. For example Samsung do this right now but one thing that Samsung also do is to also lower the refresh rate down to 10 or even 1 hertz to display these notifications to save even more on battery life. It is believed that Apple this year with the iPhone 14 Pro models will be applying an always on display to at least the iPhone 14 Pro models as the screens are OLED and also can be reduced to at least 10 hertz. It will be absolutely fantastic if this does come to the iPhone 14 Pro models but there is also the question out there why can't this be applied to the iPhone 13 Pro models as well. At the end of the day they also have a Pro Motion display. Well there is a possibility that we might actually see this feature coming in iOS 16 in the next few weeks and then basically this will be applied to the iPhone 13 Pro models and also the iPhone 14 Pro models going forward forwards but it's probably most likely that Apple wanted to keep this for an exclusive for the iPhone 14 Pro models for now. So next, release date and price, but now is a good time than more than ever to mention that all reports and leaks that you are seeing right here are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new iPhone. I can only present to you what reports or information that is out there. However, if you are watching this video, you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next generation iPhone anyway. So let's do the release date and prices next. So based on no chip shortages or components being hard to come by from now until the end of summer 2022, it is believed that the iPhone 14 Pro and other iPhone 14 models will be out at the end of September 2022. How do we know that the release date is going to be the end of September? Well, let me just do a quick history lesson of iPhone releases. So if we go back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 14th that year. Then skip a year to 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September 21st, 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead of that to 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus and the release year for that was September 16th. In 2019 we saw the release of the iPhone 10s on September 21st and the 10R on October 26th and last year for example with the iPhone 12 models the release dates were October 23rd to November 13th. Now mainly you can see release dates have either been kind of mid-end September to kind of 
end October if there's something special coming out or something a bit different, with the main exception of 2021 where it was a bit unusual for the iPhone 12 to come out a bit later, but this was due to COVID so we did have a release on all the models. However, this year in 2021, we're back on schedule with the iPhone 13 and that's being released at the end of September with all four models having a date of their release of September 24th. So for 2022, Apple will be planning an event just before this happens. However, we'll see another event for other Apple products like the MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch, AirPods and loads more other bits and pieces around that time and if you want more info about those products do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get the latest news on them. We have everything we know so far including the prices for the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. So there are only two Pro models this year so let's get started then with the iPhone 14 Pro. And this will be a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2532 by 1170 and you'll get that 120 hertz pro motion display just like what we got in the iPhone 13. One big change what you can see here in the picture and a lot of leaks and rumors are saying is the notch will be dropped for the pro models. It's likely we're probably going to get like a hole punch or a pill design but it's not been confirmed exactly what this design will look like but we know it's not going to be the notch. Underneath the hood though we're going to be getting 8 gigabytes of ram and there'll be storage options between 128 gigabytes all the way up to one terabyte that a16 bionic again will have four efficiency cores and two performance cores but the gpu core will actually have five cores very similar to like what we got with the 13 pro and the 13 pro max the actual main body this time is actually going to be made out of a titanium body and this is a first for apple and this is going to be absolutely incredible and on the back we're going to get a a triple camera setup just like what we've had ever since the iPhone 11 but we will also get that lidar sensor those camera setup will be a wide ultra wide and a telephoto lens on the back and again that battery is going to be the same size as what we had with the iPhone 13 and also the iPhone 14 and that will be a 3095 milliamp battery size the base model of this is 128 gigabytes and it'll be coming in at 999 US dollars the final iPhone to talk about is the iPhone 14 Pro Max and this is the biggest one. Uh, this one comes at 6.78 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280 and again that will have a 120Hz Pro motion display just like the 14 Pro. Again it will have that kind of peel or hole punch design just like I mentioned with the iPhone 14 Pro but underneath the hood we'll get 8GB of RAM, storage options between 128GB all the way up to 1 terabyte and then again that A16 Bionic with four efficiency cores, two performance cores and again five core GPU to be a little bit more special with the Pro models. Again we're going to get that new titanium body and then we're going to get that triple camera lens and the lidar sensor so I'll just say it again the wide, ultra wide and a telephoto probably again with a three time zoom and then that battery is the same battery that we will be getting in the iPhone 14 Max just like the one we got inside the 13 Pro Max and that will be a 4352 milliamp battery. The base model of this is 128 gigabytes and it'll be coming in at 1099 US dollars. So that is where we stand with the iPhone 14 models and as time goes on more features will be added to this list and then we will get a more complete picture. But if you want to get a more complete picture in the future and also get the latest details on leaks and reports on all the videos for the iPhone 14s, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. But for now guys with this video, if you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and I will see you really soon. Take care.